So I'm going to settings and I'm going to show you how to enable the restrictions. You go to general and then find the restrictions and you click click on that. And since I already have them enabled, I have to enter my password, but you'll click enable restrictions and you'll enter a password and then you can turn off or on many of the features. Browser, camera, FaceTime, iTunes. You can make it so they can't install new apps. Use Siri. So I'll show you what that looks like. I'll turn these off and then you can see how they're now not on my iPad. I, I do not have an internet browser. I do not have a camera. I can't take pictures unless I go and enter that password back in the restrictions mode. So let's go back to restrictions again and see what other options are available. Every time you go there, you have to enter the password. That way the student or user who cannot change it without your permission. So I'll change a few of the things back and look back. Down for content, you can identify what type of content you will allow that user to, to view and download. So I'm going through these and looking at for the movies. I can just check the types of movies that will be allowed to view and download. For apps, you'll see how apps have ratings based on the age and I can identify what apps can be downloaded. And we also have in-app purchases in-app purchases, many apps have the option to buy things within the app, so you can turn that off so they don't accidentally click on a new app or download something that costs them money. Now here we see the option for requiring a password to download new apps. By default, it's set to 15 minutes, meaning if I download one app, and I'm still looking on the App Store, I can download new apps without entering my password again and again. But if you make it immediately, it means even after you download one app, each time you download a new app, you have to enter that password. You'll see there's other options to customize and you can look at those carefully to really customize the experience for the student or whoever, who's ever using the iPad. And if I want to turn off all restrictions, I just disable them up top and I enter the passcode and then everything I did can be turned off so that it's fully functional. Now I'm gonna jump back to the general settings click back up there and i'm going to look at something else i'm going to scroll down and go to accessibility and i press that and then i'm going to look for guided access now i press that now guided access lo locks in a particular app so i can give it to a student or a child and they cannot leave that app without the password. So I set a passcode for guided access and it's on. I'll show you how it works. So when you go to an app that you want someone to use, I'm going to choose an app, you have to triple click the home button on the iPad to activate it. So here I am in a language learning app and so I'm going to triple click on my iPad, the physical button, and then you'll see this screen appear. It says guided access and there's some options. You click start and that starts guided access. And then from here, I can't leave this particular app without the password, so it's locked in here. The student can use the entire app, 
can go anywhere in it, but they cannot leave that app or use anything else on the iPad. Now to exit the mode, you triple click again, and then you have the option to end it, or you can resume it, or customize a part of the guided access. So I click end, and now I can go back to the iPad home screen. So now I'm gonna go to settings, and I'm going to go to general, and customize my spotlight search. And the spotlight search, I press that, and I can identify what parts of my iPad I want to be searched when I use that. Right now I have a few of them checked, and I can uncheck or check any of them that I want, so I can access whatever I want right away. So I'll just choose those two, music and applications or apps. And then on our home screen, we swipe to the right, and then I'm going to search Chris, and all I have are two songs by Chris Brown, because all I have is music and apps selected. So I'm going back to my settings, and I'll change it to also include contacts, and you'll see now how that if I do that search again, it's going to also include any contacts with the name of Chris. So I'll go back there, type in Chris again, and now I have a contact also, Chris Core, as well as those songs. So you can play with that, with the different aspects of the system so that you see whatever you want. So now we're back at general settings and we're gonna look at the password lock on your iPad to lock it so no one can get in without permission. So you click on that and I'm gonna, I can choose simple passcode, which is a four digit number Otherwise, I can use any password I want. So if I do simple passcode, I can identify a four-digit number to access my iPad. So I turn that on, and then I need to turn passcode on, and then I enter the passcode twice to make sure that it's accurate and make sure you don't forget this. And then it is set, so now I have that passcode. And you can also customize whether or not you want it to lock immediately or after a minute or five minutes of use. In addition, you can turn Siri and a picture frame off when it's locked or not. And the erase data is, is, is if you want to have all the data erased if someone tries it 10 times and fails, meaning they're trying to hack into your iPad.